<clears throat> no, 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 man. Don't do it like that, because then everyone's not going to get something they like. If they don't answer you, then they obviously don't want just, it. I'm very so, passionate. Just order that. Everybody else will get their own food. Just, we'll take care of the baby. All right. Welcome, welcome. I know what I want. I'm a baby. Welcome. I don't want my order to get fucked up. Welcome, I said. God like damn it. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Epis. That sounds like an adult thing to do. I care about my, my lunch. Guys, please pay attention. I'm looking forward to my lunch. I'd like my lunch to be what I want. <laughs> Is that a crime all of a sudden? Welcome to another episode of Are You Smarter Than a Sixth? Grader, we're going up in grades. We went too far last time. We went all the way to eighth grade. This time around, we're bringing it back down, dialing back a bit. Pull it down a notch. Sixth grade, right before you get into middle school. Did no, you like middle school? Were you a popular that, kid in middle school? Sixth grade. Sixth grade is middle school. <laughs> Wait, sixth grade is middle school? This is not, the first year of middle school, yeah. Not when I grew up. When I grew up, it was seventh and eighth only, middle school. I went to Mark Train. Uh, we got one. When I grew school, up, was it? It's, it's it was just one classroom. Class. Every grade was in there. <laughs> you, so, as a third grader, you were in copying up a sixth grader. Yeah, basically. Damn, that's <laughs> was bullying a big thing in situations Mine like that. Was K that? through eight, and then high school. Oh really? wow! Yeah, yeah one school. I had I had preschool, elementary school, middle school, and then high school. Same. Same. I had yeah. Two schools. I went uh, first through, fifth, first through, through no first through six through was for me, and then seven eighth was it. All right, let's get yeah. it started. In the initials of the federal agency known as Say NASA. Say one, two, three, so we all hold up our answers and no one can cheat because I take this very seriously. Okay, I understand. I'm done getting roasted in the comments. I'm getting 100%. Sounds good. All right. In the initials of the federal agency known as NASA, what does the first A stand for? A, American. B, Aeronautics. C, Association. Or D, Administration. One, two, three. <laughs> Everybody is wrong except for Dylan. It is stands North for American, American Space Association, man. Say it again. North American Space Association. I thought it was right. I thought it was National yeah, that's right. Aeronautics. It is national, it's not North American. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! I'm already getting. Roasted. It's not North American. I can, I can literally feel them huh? typing. It's not North American. North American. No. National Association. National. Of national. Space American. Space. National American so something. What does it stand for? <laughs> I Do think you know? I got it right. National Aeronautics Space Association or Administration. Well, we're about to find out whether or not Matt got this thing wrong. Because if Matt got it wrong, then everybody gets a bonus except for him. He gets bonus taken away from him at the end of the month by me. We don't even know the answer. It's a nice watch. <laughs> It's for National Aeronautics Space Administration. I'm a genius! No, it's administration. National oh, Aeronautics Space one. Administration. Damn. American. Now I sound more like an idiot. <laughs> 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 he said it with his chest. It's the National American. No. Yo, that's the second time, man. That's, I pay for that. Wait, so what is it saying for? What is it? Say it again, Matt. That's for National Aeronautics Space Administration. National uh, Aeronautics genius. Space Association. Uh, don't even compliment me. Well, the guy that's wearing don't a... Don't compliment me in the comments. The, the guy... I don't want to hear it now. You've, you've turned on me once. <laughs> All right, number don't two. gas me up. What is the closest star to Earth? Orion, Alpha Centauri. Say one, two, three. The moon or the sun? One, two, three. The correct answer is D, the sun. Good job, boys. We're all very smart. You guys are all very smart. Three. The moon casts a shadow over the Earth during during the a lunar eclipse, half moon, solar eclipse, or d new moon. Again, oh, give me a sec. The casts moon a casts a shadow over the Earth during the a lunar eclipse, b half moon, c solar eclipse, or d new moon. Oh, I'm good. Ready? I don't know. One, two, three. Correct answer is C. Yes. Even though yours is backwards, you did, but it's upside down. Let's go, baby. Three for three. I'm smarter than the test, too. B, no half bad. moon. I'm four for three. I got extra credit. All right. What causes tides? A, giant schools of fish, underwater volcanoes, gravitational pool of the moon and the sun, or the sea god Poseidon? This is a tough one. I feel like it's a common sense. It's not a tough one. I know. It's common sense. <laughs> Say one, two, three. One, two, three. 
The correct answer is gravitational pull C. Good. Number five. Charles Darwin came up with the theory of reproduction, mutation, hibernation, or evolution. Darwinism. One. Why'd you just say Darwinism? <laughs> it's known as Darwinism, Seth. Darwinism is survival of the fittest. Also known as? D, the theory of evolution. Stronger or the fittest, only the strong survive. A, 100% for Seth, 110%. Reproduction, says Embos. That's not a theory. Reproduction, it's not a theory. It actually happens. All right, six. What is condensation? Is it when gas changes into a liquid, when liquid freezes, when liquid changes into gas, or when ice becomes steam? What is condensation? Is, is it any of those? Yeah, <laughs> Say one, two, three. One. Uh, one? one? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Whatever comes right here, of course. Are you guys ready? Uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna read it again. Question number six is what is condensation? A when gas changes into a liquid, B when liquid freezes, C when liquid changes into a gas, or when ice becomes steam. Alright, I'm ready. One, two, three. The correct answer is A, when gas changes into a liquid. Let's go, baby, 100%. I thought still. condensation was when you got like the outside of your glass wet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like my window sweating. <laughs> that, that's that's steam that or gas turning into a liquid. Okay. Jesus. All right, here we go. Seven. How many bones does the adult human body have? And do not ask me whether it, being a male or a female affects the count. How many bones does an adult human body have? 180, 206, 406, or 310? One, two, three, go. I got B, too. Correct answer is 206, the letter B. It's money. It's all, I'm getting 100% on this test. I'm actually focused in this time. You haven't missed no one. No games. Yet. I haven't missed one. In, in fact, he corrected Maddie. I might be the king sixth grader. All right, here we go. I have. I beat the test. I've Number the test. eight. What is the square root? Of 49. One, two, three. Very good. Four, very good. Seven. Number nine. How many ounces are in one cup? I know you guys don't cook, so I know you guys don't oh, yeah, know. I'm not gonna, I was close to knowing this one. How many ounces are in a cup? If you guys are ready, we're going to go at the count of three. Yeah. Is it four, two, eight, or 12? Oh, one. Oh, oh. Um, all right, let's go. Two, three. Seth and Big Timer are right. We Eight. We protein shakes. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I actually don't even want to touch it. Okay. All right. Just because they released and said everyone could go outside doesn't mean you should instantly go outside. But Elon Musk said you should. <laughs> shit, but we're outside. Elon Musk said a lot of shit today. <laughs> <laughs> Did that affect the stock price at all? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You want him to keep talking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number 10, which of the following is not one of the Great Lakes? Lake Mead, Erie, Huron, or Michigan? If you guys are ready, we're going to go at the count of three. One, two, three. That's correct. A, A, Lake Mead is not part of the Great Lakes. Here we go, 11, how far is first base from home plate? 90 feet, 100 feet, 50 feet, 200 feet. Again, how fast, how far is one, sorry, how far is first base from home plate? <clears throat> if you guys are ready, we're gonna go to the count of three. One, two, three. Very good, baseball players here all up in this. Uh, who do you Very think, if, if you were to, to, to rank you guys as to who the best baseball players are on the table, who would you say? Did you play baseball coming up? I did play baseball. What? Dead what? Last. What? I can't, yeah. hit a, I can't hit a ball to save my life. Okay. 
What uh, what did you play? You couldn't hit the curve? Catcher in first base. Pitcher. Catcher in first base. It's all the hot spots. All the hot spots? What about you? I would have thrown Did you play baseball? I played baseball. What, what played position? Whatever. Center field and second base. All right. Sethi? What? What did you play? Center field. Yeah, what else? That's it? Center field? Most athletic position on the field. Third I know both could play. Third base. Third base. Third baseman. All right, boys. Uh, you guys uh, all got it right. Number 12. See, this is the one that is a little bit... It's Number little 12. What is the numerical value of the Roman numeral L? Is it A, 10, B, 5, C, 50, or D, 100? That's an easy. If, if anybody here catches an L on That's this, easy. I am going to be very, very weirded out. <laughs> Really? If you guys are ready, we're gonna go to count of three. One, two, three. Am I right? D, right? C, the correct correct answer is C. No What? I, yeah. I thought so. Cause isn't a hundred X? No, that's ten. 10. See, I I thought X is ten. <laughs> huh? <laughs> my my dumb my dumbness helped me get it right. V is five. Ten is X. What's a what's hundred? Double X? Triple, triple X? You guys don't know? It's the letter C for Centennial. Really? Let's <laughs> go. Makes sense. Right? Maddie? Can we get verification? 100 in Roman numerals? C for cent. For cien. All right. For the 100. For, well, I already got 100%. Okay. Got 13. True or false? An orca one. is a kind of dolphin. I don't know this one. Is it A, true, or B, false? One, true or false? One, two, three. False, false, true, false. Everybody is wrong except for Dylan. Dylan, Let's good go. job. It's a dolphin. An yep. orca is a killer whale. I it was a whale. Yeah. No, Whales are no, dolphins. No, 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 no. That orcas are killer whales. It's a kind of dolphin, Seth. It's a kind of dolphin. Not to me. Wait, those aren't the same. <laughs> <Not to me. laughs> I'm lost. I, uh, are orcas the same? What? Are orcas the same as killer dolphins? Orcas killer are whales? the big ass whales with the white the eyes and the black yeah. body. From Free Willy? Yes. yes. Shamu? <laughs> eating motherfuckers, man. Are orcas <laughs> I don't think they are. They eat motherfuckers. Orcas are the big white ones. Right. No, you're thinking of beluga whales. Belugas. The killer whale or orcas. No, take the point from him. It belongs to the oceanic dolphin family. Damn, some mean they related. Well, at least you got the extra credit. I did get the extra credit, 100. percent I did the best on the test because I <laughs> I got an extra point for being smarter than the test. Or him. Who's him? Him. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. He, he couldn't even put the test together with the answer. All I right. Smarter than the test. Send us out. Send us away, Big T. All right, everybody. That's gonna do it for this episode of Are You Smarter Than a Sixth Grader? We'll catch you next week.